The misconception is that you're going for something that's called high tea. What you're actually being served is afternoon tea. And that is because afternoon tea is a dainty affair. You know, it's dainty sandwiches. It's all very elegant. It's full of ritual and tradition. You've got the silver teapot, you've got the cake stand, you know, it, and it's very um, relaxed and very leisurely. Um, and it's a special occasion usually. Whereas high tea, was a working class, lower class meal that then became taken over and went through all the classes the same way as afternoon tea got taken on by all the classes. But it originated in the upper classes. So am I confused you? Tea is the drink that is served at both afternoon tea and high tea. There's two different ways of doing this. If you're at home, you might have your own bring out the special china Sunday afternoon tea. It's not for every day. You haven't got time to do it every day. Or you may go out for um, afternoon tea, in which case, you know, it's uh, a nice grand atmosphere, rather like we're sitting here. So it makes you feel a bit special. You're giving, it's a treat. Wonderful word. It's a treat, as eat on the end. <laughs> and that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be eating things. No one has time anymore to make dainty sandwiches or the uh, sort of cakes that people have at afternoon tea. They're homemade. They taste delicious. They remind you of your childhood, your grandma. So all these memories come flooding back as well. But you're taking the time to enjoy something which you don't rush. And if you're lucky, you're going to get that tea in a teapot and it's going to be real tea. You know, you, you often go out to things and come home disappointed, well I do. You know, go out for dinner and you can't guarantee what it's going to be like. I don't think afternoon tea lets you down.